Currently, there are 4.7 million people in the UK living with diabetes, a disease that can lead to other serious health complications. Researchers at the University of the West of England, Bristol Centre for Research in Biosciences, are using people's own microorganisms to help with earlier detection. Sue Savile went to find out how this research can help diabetes management. Take your shoe and socks off. Under the gaze of his fascinated GP, diabetes patient Andrew follows instructions from a microbiologist who wraps his foot in a plastic bag in order to extract vapours. Next, she tells him to breathe through his nose for two minutes before she takes a deep sniff of his breath. Open as wide as possible. Thank you. As a trained organoleptic judge, Dr. Saliha Saad assesses the strength of odours on the breath. Gum disease is common in diabetic patients, so researchers at the University of the West of England, UWE, are comparing microbes from the mouth and the feet to try to diagnose foot ulcers before they erupt. Ultimately, we are trying to develop a handheld device that will enable general practitioners and patients to measure the gases emanating from their mouth and from their foot to know the stage of the disease so that we can act at an early stage. Every day in England alone, 24 people have a lower limb amputated due to diabetes. Early diagnosis of foot ulcers would reduce this potential trauma for the country's nearly 5 million diabetes patients. It would be wonderful if a detector could be de developed where um, already before the ulcer has erupted, uh, the patients who are in a risk of diabetes-related foot ulcers could be detected and the development of the ulcer could be prevented. UE's new Enterprise Zone translates research into tangible benefits for society. Teams here are working on bacteriophages to fight antimicrobial resistance, swabs to transport viruses safely, as well as more commercial products. We develop toothpaste not just for everyday use, but for those people who have gum disease. We also produce uh, some mouthwash specifically for those who have uh, more severe problems with uh, bad breath or gum disease. And we also have the with developing a tongue cleaner. The relevance of such research for wider society is evident here at the Bristol Royal Hospital for Children, where the partnerships between academics and clinicians can bring significant benefits for patients and for the NHS. Big breath in, exhale and stop. This breath testing machine was a solution in search of a problem. Work on a new class of conductive polymers created a sensor finely tuned to ammonia levels. A chance encounter linked this to the build-up of dangerous toxins in children with metabolic disorders called urea cycle defects. The clinical detector has been scaled down for home use. The only way to currently measure that ammonia is to come into the hospital for a blood test. So being able to first of all do that at home but also in a non-invasive way where the person doesn't have to take a blood sample. Children don't like having blood samples taken. The collaboration between UE academic and hospital clinician has been fundamental to creating technology part funded by the National Institute for Health Research which could bring both practical and economic benefits for the NHS and for patients. I think it'll make a huge difference. We know that they spend an awful lot of their time going backwards and forwards from hospital. One would hope that it would actually both reduce the costs to the hospital, to the NHS, by actually preventing some of these encephalopathic episodes, which can lead to really quite significant brain damage. Pioneering partnerships between UE, the NHS and industry are pointing the way to creative solutions to some of society's daily problems.